uh, people were asking me how my uh, lift axles, uh, lift axles work, and today we're gonna look at that. So a normal axle uh, has just one set of uh, airbags, right? Because it's all air suspension. See over there. That's my uh, front axle. But the lift axle, the one on the back here, uh, on top of regular regular airbags, which are now deflated because the axle is up. Uh, they also have these uh, smaller kind of like double looking airbags. And because now it's up, see the, they're full. So that's what's holding them in position. And I cannot adjust the pressure on this axle. It's all fully automatic. There's a switch in the front there. Uh, but then it'll be adjusting all the axles. And I can also control the right height with this. But this is more for a temporary kind of stuff. Okay. And then we have this knob here on the right. And I'm always confusing which one does what. There's one this and there's this. I think this is for the axle. No, that's for the light. Okay, this one. See, now it's out. I push it in. And what happens is that the air goes into these uh, big airbags on the back. And I see how the, the, the tire starts touching the ground. And it's all fully adjustable, like automatically adjustable based on how much load the system senses on the trailer. See? Beautiful. And now these ones should be empty now. Yeah, you see they're soft. So that's how it works. And it saves uh, lots of fuel when I'm empty. Oh, the wrong button. This one. See, it starts going up. And it doesn't go go up by much, maybe you see like a few inches, but that's enough. I just have to be careful on, uh, you know, on bad roads, because I can destroy the rear tire when it hits the ground, if the truck, you know, rocks too bad. So that's how the uh, lift axle works on the trailer. Let's look at the one on the truck. Now the one on the truck is a similar setup. There's uh, two sets of airbags. See now it's up, so these big ones are deflated. ones are inflated, right? But because it's a traditional axle, these are non-steerable tires, um, the switch is inside the cab. Like with newer axle that are steerable, they don't allow the switch inside the cab, but here, you see when they install the axle, let me just increase the RPM a little bit, otherwise they're gonna shut down. It has an automatic shutdown feature. So when the guy installed the, the axle, this was a empty spot here, so he installed this panel, right? And this shows the, the pressure in the system. And that's the button that lowers and uh, raises the axle. But also it has this additional switch here, which I can turn counterclockwise and clockwise, and I, I can increase the pressure. So now I'm gonna show you. So now the axle is up. And see what happens. Wait. Yeah, we're gonna pull it, right? And so the pressure goes down here, and the axle goes on the ground. Yeah, these are now empty, and the air goes in the ozone. The axle now is on the ground. Uh, they look screwed up, but they're gonna they're gonna fix themselves. Ah, oh, beautiful. See, now it's full of air. But as I mentioned, the best part is this. So I can turn this knob 
You see, I can bring it down. That's PSI pressure. See, now it's 10. Or I can go up to, let's say, whatever I want. See, I can go to, let's say, 20. Right? It just it takes time. There's some inertia. So you gotta, you know, maybe turn, turn the other direction a little bit. Otherwise, it'll keep increasing. Right? But I don't want too much pressure in there because then it's uh, it's difficult for the bags to difficult for the bags to you know fix themselves when they don't sit right. And that's it. I'll just leave it like that for now, for like 10 psi. And then we push this and. That's it. So that's how it works. So creates uh, additional possibilities for heavy loads, but gives you the flexibility of not using these axles when you're empty, so you can save fuel and save uh, on uh, tire wear. Thanks for watching.